I have been in Yaoundé since 2011. I did uni here in the University of Swa. And then I went back to Bamenda by 2016. And then I came back to Yaoundé 2019. I have been staying in this apartment for three years. So yes, I feel like I can talk about this. So when I got into this apartment, I shared the building, how it looked like with you all. And I got so many backlashes because it was a very old apartment. And I was basically coming to rescue it from the state at which it was over the years can you even believe that it's been years but over the years i have regretted moving here i have appreciated moving here it's just been three years of so many undulating feelings so in this video i'm going to share some of the things you need to pay attention to things that are non-negotiable when next you're looking for a place in Yaoundé. See ya guys, this point I'm about to share will save your life. Now, if you don't know, Yaoundé is the capital city of Cameroon. I don't know about other capital cities, but Yaoundé, there's so much centralization. If you want to do like any concrete administrative thing, you need to come to Yaoundé. So many people all over the country come into Yaoundé to find a place to stay so that they could do the administrative things in the country. So now let's just dive into the things you need to learn. Be before moving into a new house, you need to check the history of that apartment or studio. So in Yaoundé, we have like apartments where you have two or more rooms. And then we have what we call studio, one room and a living room. And then we have like the single room, the chambre modern. Or the local rooms where the bathroom and the kitchen are outside, you know. It just depends on what your budget can afford. Now, if you are moving into a new place, make sure you go around before you finally pay your rent eh don't listen to landlords don't listen to caretakers make sure you go around and you ask people what is the history of this apartment the former tenants why did they leave the space did they have trouble while they were in the space now this is something that i realized when i came to my apartment it was it was basically like an abandoned building it had been abandoned for i was told for almost two years like that was the second year nobody had stayed in it because every time people came and looked at it they were like no we don't want to stay here i later on discovered that the former tenant used to have like exorbitant high high bills and how did i discover it when me who is never ever around I'll travel when i come back i'll see electricity bill ten thousand i'm like ah who are those living in this house that are consuming this bill? So there was like a problem with the meta and I did not know. Over the years, it's been regulating, but when I just came, the prices were just crazy. Check the history. Did somebody die in the house? What patterns were the people who lived in the house before have been like teens? things be happening and i'm telling you now the next thing you want to check before you pay for an apartment or whatever building you're choosing to stay in is you need to check the history of the neighborhood there are some neighborhoods in yaoundé that i will never ever advise somebody to stay in. like how do you want to stay in brick brick is like a very rough neighborhood you know and there are some other neighborhoods there was sometimes i don't think it's there there like that now as it used to be but there was sometimes there's this neighborhood around tam 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 is like a hot spot joined so there used to be so many thieves around they used to break into people's houses around that area and all of that yes i know that the bible says that unless the lord watches over the city the watchman watches in vain but don't carry your two legs and go and enter a neighborhood that they break into people's houses like anyhow okay so you want to check the history of the environment is it a safe environment what is the history of that neighborhood like some neighborhoods have crazy 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 stories you want to check like i said don't ask the demasher who is taking you around don't ask the landlord because those people just want to sell the building to you. They just want to rent the building to you. Go around it. Go and sit where people are eating puff puff and ask them what happens in this quarter. What is this quarter like? And they are going to tell you the real gist that you need to know. When you hear some of those things, eh, you will not move into the buildings that you're moving in. The next thing that you want to check is you want to check a house in all seasons. Like this place that I got into. I got into this place. Was it like, um, I lost weight. So my dresses don't fit again. I need to take them to the tailor. I'm happy. Mostly happy, just happy. <laughs> you need to check the place in the rainy season. You need to check the place in the dry season. Now, if you don't have time, you can just ask around, what is this place like in the rainy season, in the dry season? For a whole building, the best time for you to look for a house or for you to find a house, especially if it is a flat, a house that doesn't have like 
a house that is not a duplex it's a flat right you want to check the house during the rainy season to be sure that the place doesn't leak because the thing i have suffered in this place like they keep working i have leakages by the wall eh? i don't even know how to explain it but it's not something that can be covered so whenever the rains come down water is going to just drip on the wall like that it's not like in the center where you can cover put a new roof it's by a wall like this and then there is another wall like there's a wall like this and then my own building is like that so this wall up here keeps putting water down into my building I, like it's just crazy dynamics but you want to check the house in all seasons to so find out if it's a neighborhood that water enters people's houses yeah you all remember rosie Ro hanzet 237 years she shared a video that during the rainy season water entered they, they elevated the place but water flooded entered her house destroyed her thing that's so there are neighborhoods in yaoundé here where when the rains come it's gonna enter your house so you need to check those kind of things to make sure that you don't fall into a place that you get frustrated i don't know about you maybe it's because i work from home and all of that but i need my home to be a comfortable place so that when i go out and i receive noise and bass buzz up and down i come back to my home and i feel peace I come back to my home and there is quiet and sanity. I don't want to come back and meet a flood. That's just, I'm just going to run to my father's house. Do not be excited about buildings. The next thing you want to check is, is if you want to check if there is network in the environment where you're coming to. There are some buildings that you will never ever receive a call. Like people will try to call you, call you. They will never ever get to you because network in that area is not... The network is not working. Is net not working? At this point I am raising about the network, it may seem like a very simple and irrelevant point until you get into a house mm? and you'll be doing hello, 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 hello. You will become a palm wine tapper because you'll be climbing on trees and doing hello 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 for somebody like me who works online i am big on data i am big on connection you need a place that you can browse freely place where you can receive calls receive mails freely how do i know this this is because i have looked for houses for people and those are the things that i move around and i check so i'll tell you this house is like this like this like this but just know that you are not going to be netflixing and chilling just know that you're not going to be streaming online just know that it's like this this is the situation and which is sad because there are some places like that in the capital where there is no network and all of okay that. but it is something that you need to check it's going to it's going to be so frustrating it just sounds like something simple but it's going to be so frustrating if you get into that kind of situation so the next thing you want to check is damage control now in cameroon when you pay your rent there's always something they call the caution which is like two months rent reimbursable and non-reimbursable in the case where you destroy something in the person's house in the landlord's house for example you put nails on the wall you break a tile right with your husband or your partner and you break a wall or something so if you do that kind of damage your caution will not be reimbursed okay so that's something that has been agreed when you're signing like a contract of tenancy and all of that now damage control in a situation where you have no hand in that for example the winds could blow and then take off the roof and all of that. That's not your business. You have to decide with the landlord who takes care of damage. I told you guys when I came to my house that my landlord told me that, oh, madame, si vous voulez, si vous voulez, vous pouvez mettre l'eau dans... If you like, you can put gold in the house. When you're going, you just carry your gold and you go. So what he said was that he gave me the space in the wreck that it was. He said he wasn't going to do like any changes. That if I wanted, I could go ahead and put whatever I wanted to do. I could burst the walls. I could put things on the walls. I could do whatever I wanted to do. And that when I was leaving the house, I could carry my things and go. Which was a very, very bad agreement. You want to outrightly state that in your contract, who manages the damage that is like force majeure that is what i'm saying you need to talk about damage control when it is not your wahala why am i talking about this because i have this video coming up of the troubles i have faced in my apartment hey i am going to share that video with you all like it's just been like a series of crazy events that i don't know if i should put here because of 
the warnings I got. I remember when I was sharing the videos of how oh, I found an apartment, this is where I'm going to stay and all of that. People were saying, no, don't pay for that apartment. Don't pay for that apartment. Don't pay for it. Oh my God. Ta-da, I paid for it. And this is my third year. So I've had a series of events that have happened that have made me to, hey, to say who sent me, key man boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what prompted me to do this video just to help somebody okay next time you're looking for a space in yaoundé that you want to rent you want to check these points out or basically just everywhere because each of my friends rented a place in boya was my little sisters should be my little sisters they rented a, a place in boya for how long they tap what i know ever come out from the tap so never ever ever like it was just crazy when they when they got there they told them the water comes out but and they were upstairs but the entire time they were there the landlord used to connect a long pipe to a tap somewhere and then give them the pipe to carry water in their bottles and all of that so it was just crazy those are the things you need to check they tell you that the water is flowing tell them to call you when the water is flowing i know sometimes you're in a rush to get to a place and maybe we don't have time but do not hurry and pay for a house that you're going to wake up every morning and be like hey god i'm back God, I beg, because like I said, your house, eh, you're going to go out on the street, taxi men will scream, taxi men will yell at you, market women will yell at you, people will just give you bass, bass goes up and down, but when you come home, you want to come back to a place where it's serene and you just rejuvenate. So let me know in the comment section, are you renting a house? What are the troubles that you face as a house owner? or a house renter what are the things that you wish you knew before you rented your space because like like seriously yeah, some days i'm just like hey if i was in bamenda i would be staying with my parents i don't i don't even know how some of you i do not know how some of you are struggling to leave your parents houses don't leave oh it is a scam do not leave your parents houses so it is a scam stay with your mother stay with your father don't pay rent even if they are insulting you from morning to night that oh you're not married and you're not this you're not this stay there because house rent house rent house rent <laughs> because of house rent you go and marry that it wasn't your time just let me know the troubles you face as someone who rents a house and if you've never faced any of these troubles maybe you're living in i wanted to say bastos but they are lobbies in bastos May they not fool you. They should not deceive you because bastos and then Nivo comes out, comes out, comes out. One way, one way is a scam. There are LOBs there. They are <laughs> but I know that there are some people who live in houses that are very comfortable. You don't have a hala, you don't have stress, you just pay like some big, big money and all of that and everything works well. But just still let us know your experiences as someone who is renting away from home. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one, which should be my regrets all the shaggy i have seen in my house all the things that have been happening to me they just happened in a line like this as well so thank you all for watching this video leave me a comment down below like the video it helps the video to grow share with somebody so that they know all of these points before getting a house and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye I have lost weight terribly and I do not appreciate well, well I appreciate it but there's no but I have been wanting to lose weight for the longest time so now that I have it yes I should work on it but I, I just did not expect that this dress wasn't going to fit like this dress I need to I need to show you like a picture of how this dress used to fit me but right now it's just I didn't know it was it was going to be like this I should not have worn it but okay this video is a wrap